like imitation of hinges but I don't think it's necessary what we need uh, we need to move our set axis for our cabinet doors right here so select select the, the door press tab to go to edit mode we have all whole thing selected press A to deselect go to vertex select mode select this one press shift S cursor selection go press A to deselect go out of uh, edit mode and with the uh, editing editing buttons select center cursor and this is going to put the like a, I don't know if it's right to say meeting point but now the the doors are gonna be rotating spinning around the Z axis which is positions positioned which goes through this this uh, vertex so we can check it out very easily by pressing the R to rotate Z and what's going on check this out the doors are getting open right click to go back we need to do the same thing with the left doors so select the left doors press tab to go to edit mode deselect all of them select the single vertex here press hold down the shift and S cursor to selection A to deselect tap go out of edit mode and center cursor press A to deselect and you can t test it again by selecting the left doors press R to rotate Z mm, yeah it works so now you see why it was it made a sense to texture even the shelf which is inside seems to be hidden at the moment but by pressing R and Z you can open it and press the F12 to render yeah we can see it right so just maybe maybe few things press uh, control Z to undo the last action action and we still have some time so we can have a word about the basically animating the thing if you wanna if you wanna do like the animation just press this button here make animation drag this one here set up front view by pressing one and uh, this just drag here press zero to go to um, first of all we need to make it because it's IPO curve editor to make it 3d view press zero to go, go to the camera view press Z to go to solid view mode and uh, okay let's just animate the open opening the cabinet doors getting open select the doors and uh, at the frame one so in your cursor in a 3d window press I insert key rotation now go to frame 20 so with the, the left door selected press R Z open it to a desired position and we are on frame 50 yeah 50 that was Okay, on a frame 50 press uh, I to insert key rotation now go back to frame 1 and press Alt A and you see your doors are slowly opening okay and if you just press escape if you want them uh, so they are gonna be open at the frame 50 
but if you go to frame 56 you want them to be closed again just press the go to side view Z so go to frame 50 let's say holding down shift uh, left click set it to 55 enter rotate and with the left door selected R rotate Z and close the doors uh, left click to confirm the position press I rotation and uh, now check it out on the camera view go back to frame 1 you will see the doors slowly opening from uh, frame 1 to frame 50 and then dramatically push, smashed back uh, from frame 50 to 52 uh, fi from frame 50 to frame 55 yeah so on frame 1 press alt A doors are getting open and now back right and that's it you can just play with that and I think you're gonna get a very nice effects uh, this is actually the start of my another series of, uh, of uh, tutorials about how to model the furniture so in an, another we can we can I still don't didn't have not decided what we're gonna do in the next one but probably some coffee tables some dining tables with the chairs sofas uh, maybe some interior accessories and then just put it together and hopefully in a few days maybe weeks we can get a very nice interior design scene so I'm looking forward I don't know if you are as well if yeah let me know <laughs> Thank you very much guys, all the best and I'll see you next time.